Okay, so dropped up the car, nice and safe. Undo this panel, not this panel. So it's the one further back on the passenger side. Use a eight mil. It also has a Phillips head. Now you have access to your oil filter and drain plug. Seventeen mil. Oh, I thought it was cross threaded. Oh, there's a magnet on there. Nice. Let that drain. There's a washer on there too. Take that off. Replace a new washer. Okay, I'm gonna get this off. Glued on. Pretty sure they impacted this on or something. It's like fused together. Order yourself a Mazda filter. Filter. And new washer. Put the washer on the bolt. The new one. Put the filter with this tool. Wow, there's not a lot of space here. Oh nice, this is not on that tight. Did it properly. On the previous cars, they're always so tight. From the factory or whatever, or whoever did the previous oil change. There's no oil coming out. Oh, there we go. Don't drop the oil filter in the drain pan. That would be bad. Drop my cloth again. So there's a plastic filter take I mean plastic cover take that off or the filter ain't gonna do crap. Looks like it already comes with some kind of lubrication. I don't know if you can see a lubrication on the O ring, but I'm gonna lubricate it anyway with some oil. And this takes 0W20. Just take your finger, oil, put that all on the o ring there. You can pre fill these if you want, but honestly, I don't think it matters too much. I'm just going to pre fill mine a bit.
hand tight is fine. Put the bolt back on. Very clean. Twenty-three to thirty foot pounds for the oil drain plug. I'm just going to use a. Uh, let's do twenty-six, twenty-five. Uh. Okay. Fill her up. Okay. I'm using good old Kirkland signature. You, oh, there we go. Kirkland signature 0W20. And this takes 4.5 liters with the filter, and this is uh, 4.73 liters. back on. 